Hello, everyone. Welcome to the, the, the latest anime news for the week ending October 2nd, 2022. A second trailer was released this week from Makoto Shinkai's upcoming film, Suzume no Tojimari, or Ooh. Suzume's Door Locking. Mm. And judging by the events of the trailer, the film might be an unexpected addition to the genre of cute anime characters who are also inanimate objects. Mm. That's right. Um, uh, th those pictures you may have seen from the trailer of Suzume in a chair aren't missing a second character. That chair is actually a hot anime boy. Huh. Yep. Sentient chairs. Sentient chairs. Um, let me see if I have an image of that. Um, I would like you to sit on me. Oh. I, mm. uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. No. <laughs> I mean... Well, we're, we're just not going there, are we? Um, of course we are. Okay, well, <laughs> let's be honest. It's past 9 o'clock. We're, uh, yeah, we're, yeah. we're almost to 10. <laughs> um, it seems that poor Sota, a young man who journeys with Susan May on their quest to close the doors that have been unleashing disaster around them, gets cursed somewhere along the way and winds up spending the journey as a hobbling, talking, three-legged chair. Although apparently this does not stop the two of them from getting close because anime. Mm. Um... The trailer is unsurprisingly gorgeous, though, and the movie looks like it will be very exciting. Even if the internet at large is disappointed with the loss of the beautiful Bishonen. So I guess uh, we have a Beauty and the Beast thing going on there. I guess the tagline would be Beauty and Her Stool. Ooh. <laughs> that just oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> I mean, technically, three like a chair. Is that a story? It's true. You know? Yeah. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. Exactly. God. Oh, I, I, no. I do wonder if Shinkai is just kind of pushing himself a little bit to say, okay, you know, I, I've done all of these cute teen romances. Let's just make him a chair. Yeah. <laughs> People love chairs. <laughs> chairs are great. Right. Who knows? Maybe I can finally sell my game sentient chairs. There we are. Yep. Yes, there the tie-in. The tie-in yep. works. <laughs> um, Have your people talk to their people. That's exactly. right. And watch them say, no, thank no. you. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're already getting enough flack for the, pro the protagonist could be a chair. <laughs> yeah. Can't do this. Um, the Pokemon franchise has introduced lots of memorable tra human trainers alongside its pocket monsters over the years, such as Ash, Misty, Brock, and Ed Sheeran. <laughs> course why not sure the singer released a music video this week for his pokemon collaboration song celestial which will be featured in the upcoming pokemon scarlet and videos games along with scenes of it with ed in the real world uh, along with groups of imagined pokemon the video features an animated sequence paying homage to the climactic events of pokemon the first movie but with ed sheeran as a pokemon trainer instead of ash complete with riding in on a charizard and turning his hat backwards before heading into battle Holy. <laughs> I mean, in fairness, like, if you're a Pokemon fan, you know, and, and you're doing a music video, it's a Pokemon thing, would you not insert yourself? <laughs> yeah, I would. Yeah. It's still, though, it's kind of funny. <laughs> like, move over, Ash. <laughs> I'm coming through. Yeah. Um, it's so funny. So there's a um, – um, oh, gosh, I'm forgetting his name. Um, there's a Japanese singer named uh, Gact. Uh, who's sort yes. of a, a J rock, J pop um, yep. artist uh, who turned out to be a huge Gundam fan. And oh. he, he got the chance to do the <clears throat> theme song to the um, the uh, Zeta movies, the kind of reanimated movies for Zeta Gundam. Mm. And so he, when, when he did the music videos, like he's literally in a normal suit in a Gundam cockpit singing for the entire music video. <laughs> like he just, Totally dressed up as a Gundam pilot. I'm like, you go, man. You go. Yeah, I'm living um, the dream. <laughs> to give you a, a, a sense, and this is one of these like classic sort of pretty boy, you know, J-Rock artists. There's a rather epic uh, interview with him where they say, so you're a fan of original Gundam. Well, yes, I, I am. I understand you can you can mimic the, the characters rather well. Well, yes, I can. Can you mimic this character? And he is able to exactly mimic pretty much every character from original mobile suit Gundam and like do their lines precisely. Wow. And it's like, do Kai, you know, do Amro, do do do. And like, he's exactly matched. I'm like, yes, you are a fan. Impressed. Wow. Um, speaking of fans, everyone's getting excited about the upcoming Ursa Yatsura anime remake, Yay. including Lawson, the Japanese convenience store, who's asking the really important question, 
What if Lum's horns were actually snacks? Uh, the that's stores... never occurred to me ever <laughs> in this list. No, that, that's always on my mind. No. The store is releasing special edition confections and goods themed around the classic anime, several central of which are collaboration boxes of popular chocolate dip biscuit snacks called Takenoko no Sato. <laughs> These sweets are actually designed to look like bamboo shoots, but it turns out they fit pretty well as Lum's horns, too. Each box also comes with a magnet, a Takenoko horn Lum, and a number of other themed goods will also be available throughout the collab, of course. So, yes, wow. now you can eat Lum. Oh, we're not at 10 o'clock. I went there. I went there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, her horns. The, 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 yeah. Anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not the, the it's not the, the weirdest thing ever, right? No. Like it's, okay, she no. has a distinctive shape. You know, cornets, all sorts of different things could be. That's fine. I thought you were going to say, like, fruit uh, chew sheets like her bikini pattern. Oh, I like that. <laughs> and be yeah. like, I was waiting for that to be like, oh, boy. <laughs> That's oh, going to no. lead to some very interesting adult times in some yeah. people's apartments in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Got the fruit sheets of lum. <laughs> like, no. Oh, boy. Let's move on to some anime announcements. We've got some interesting ones this week. A crossover anime project has been announced to celebrate the anniversaries of two classic properties. The 50th anniversary of Lupin the Third, the anime mm. of Lupin the Third, yeah. and the 40th of uh, Tukasa Hojo's Cat's Eye manga. Um, wow. TMS's yeah. Lupin the Third versus Cat's Eye crossover special will debut sometime next year, and we set in the Cat's Eye's original 1980s time period. I think it's a great idea. Ooh, wow. <laughs> the Cat's Eye sisters are attempting to steal a set of three paintings that belong to their father. This time, of course, Lupin is after the same catch. The voice actors Kenichi Kurita and Keiko Toto will both reprise their roles as Lupin the Third and Hitomi Kasugi, respectively. Wow, neat. So I wonder, the, the thing is, like, I, I think back to the Lupin the Third versus Texas Conan special, where they had to be really careful balancing that to make sure that, like, Neither of them like overshadowed the other, and neither of them won, right? You yeah. know, and all that kind of stuff. I wonder if they're gonna have the same kind of feel there. Um, I don't know, like, how, how do you do that? Well, which is the bigger franchise? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the biggest franchise wins <clears throat> if it's Watch. Lupin, then Lupin wins, mm -hmm. exactly. Or Lupin can be seduced. Ah, Lupin. yes, and yes, he can. <laughs> yes. Yes, we know he falls for that. <laughs> All the time. Um, a new original TV anime titled Revenger was revealed this week from visual novel, novel developer Nitro Plus and distributor Shochiku. Um, this important because Nitro Plus um, um, uh, collaborated with his little um, developer named Tight Moon um, to create this little light novel series called Fate Zero. I don't know if you've heard of it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I might, I might have heard it in passing. Possibly, I might um, have seen a thing or two. I, I don't know. One or two. There's, there's, I think, I think it's some some cosplay out there somewhere. Yeah. Um, the funny thing is, the teaser for the anime features a stoic-looking man with a sword, and the tagline: "I cut down people in order to fight against a cruel fate." Uh, hmm. The okay. most generic tagline I can possibly think. Okay. <laughs> to put on a man with a sword. I cut down people to fight against a cruel fate. Okay, I guess. Sure well, they're certainly thought. not giving you anything to work with, so nope. you know, they're <laughs> preserving the story there. That's yeah. good. Yeah, very quiet. Um, DMM and Asahi Productions also revealed a new original TV anime this week. Giant Beasts of Ars, A-R-S, will debut in January, set in an age of swords and heroes where humans and giant beasts fight for control of the land. Okay. So maybe I don't know. I I actually think Arion when I think of that. I mean, that'd, that'd be kind of cool. That 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 view. Hmm. Um, Mitsuri Kido's Too Cute Crisis Manga also getting a TV anime in 2023. <laughs> a sci-fi comedy following a girl from a space empire who initially plans to destroy Earth because of his low level of civilization, but changes her mind after encountering a, a cat and being shocked by its cuteness. <laughs> I thought you were going to say fell in love with what a cat. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, so basically, we're just redoing Comey Can't Communicate, but just in a different way. Yeah, right? pretty much. Yeah. Um, or uh, Mao Chan. 
Rose, one of the others. Yep. Um, but uh, yes, the uh, main character, Lisa Luna, from the Space Empire of Azatos. Um, so yes, I'm 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 intrigued. Would you like some um, salsa with that Alza toast? Say what? Sorry. I was gonna say, do you want some salsa with that Alza toast? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, it, I'll be very curious to see how they're gonna like get story length and depth out of. Yeah. Out of that. <laughs> yeah. I'm, oh, I'm the cat is so cute. The end. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, at least if it was a person that you could have, like you know, the back and forth. Oh, you're destroying well, my world. I don't want the to. The poster shows multiple animals. Oh. Oh. So you so got she cats, you got dogs, you got all sorts of different animals you can fall in love with. Uh, that's not a uh, Sorry. No. Yeah. That's no, no. Uh, beast. Um, it's, I mean, it's, obviously, it's going to be ridiculous. And, and, and it'll probably be, you know, four minute episodes, I'm assuming. <gasps> Yeah. yeah, where she encounters the, the cute little Pomeranian just falls all over. <laughs> yeah. just, I've got this world destroying. Well, oh, look at the Pomeranian. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, it's a Sheba. They're so cute. Like, uh, there you go. Pretty much. Um, last weekend's Aniplex Online Fest announced a number of upcoming anime projects. Um, Mashiro's My Love Story with Yamada Kun at level 999 manga. We'll get into TV anime next year. Uh, the protagonist is about to quit the game she played with her re recent ex boyfriend. When she meets Yamada through the game, after getting to know him in real life, she develops feeling for him, but only seems to be interested. He is only interested in the game. So, you know, sort of star-crossed lovers, but in a video game. Huh. Um, Anaplex also announced that Sony Music's Next Dimensional Idol project, Unite Up, is getting a January TV anime. Um, the YouTube project launched in December of last year with him featuring various artists and hidden talents, a.k.a. cheap singers. Um, an upcoming TV anime was revealed at the stream for the ATRI My Dear Moments game. Uh, the story follows Natsuki, who, returning to his hometown after losing his mother and leg in an accident, searches his grandmother's old laboratory for a rumored treasure and instead finds, of course, a robot a new girl. Leg. Oh, yeah, robot girl with who's holding a leg. I'm, I'm ah, sure. yes, she um, had a leg up on him. Yeah, <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel um, so much better. <laughs> just wait. Um, Fate Strange Fake is getting a TV anime special. This is an April Fool's joke from the Fate universe, which has the Holy Grail War taking place in like the Wild West. And they're like, no, we're just going to actually make an anime out of that. Like, that's just going to be too much fun to, to not do. <laughs> Billy the Kid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so again, TV anime special. Um, oh my. And then finally, um, A1 Pictures is producing an anime feature film of Gen Urobuchi's Eisenflugel novel series. Um, Urobuchi described the story... You. Yeah, I know. Um, described the story as, quote, a competition in a faraway world between a dragon and a jet to determine which holds true superiority of the skies. End <sighs> quote. Um, he said, it, we originally imagined it as an anime film, never got made, wrote it as a series of novels, and he's happy it'll finally come a film after nearly 20 years. So, Lord. can't wait for that. Oh, this is gonna be This is going to be like a John Henry kind of thing, I guess. I, I, don't I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. A dragon and a jet. Well, you see, there was, what is it? It was it's, Hisano Tomasoton? Hmm. Masotan? Okay. He said Tomasatan. I, I it it was about a uh, Japanese self defense force that had dragons. Okay. And they disguised oh, right, right. them yeah, yeah. as jets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that yeah. they would go up, you know, and that was kind of the thing. It's like, oh, you're a yeah. pilot of, of a jet? No, I'm a pilot of a dragon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, okay. I loved that show. It was great. <laughs> it was very cute. Well, so it could be very interesting to see a jet in a dragon. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be some reason why the jet gets its head chopped off in the first 20 minutes. Yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. We'll find out. Genera Bucci, right? Yeah. Will there at least be some attractive people to look at before the, the head <laughs> chopping occurs? Uh, um, the Japan section of Netflix's To Doom live stream event last weekend also revealed several upcoming anime works. Um, the Onyoji novels will be their first anime series adaptation worldwide on Netflix the next year. It began as a series of short stories way back in 1986. 
Wow. With uh, three novels published from 2000 to 2008, a manga in 1994, and several live action series already made. Um, Netflix also announced uh, a, an adaptation of the Onimusha Capcom video game, um, a Sengoku era survival action series. Uh, basically, Sengoku stories with supernatural elements. Wow. Okay. Uh, okay. That sounds fun. Um, finally, a new animated series called My Demon was revealed <coughs> uh, with animation from a Thai studio named Igloo. It takes place in the near future after a, new, a nuclear explosion, I hate when that happens, caused a brief overlap between the human world and hell, mm. and it follows an elementary school boy who finds a demon in the forest and decides to raise it, which sounds like a bad life choice to me. Not unless she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we had Ver, we had Vermeil and Gold this season, so we had high school or or school age boy with a summoned demon. We all know demons don't wear clothes. Exactly. Right. right. So you have that whole thing going on, and they're always immediately attracted to anybody who's nice to them. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. No strings attached. No. Not a, no 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 soul selling. No no no, 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 no. not at all. Portents of doom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, moving on to some other anime news. The Love Live franchise is no stranger to creating musical stage performances. <laughs> this one will, will, be, will be the first time it branches out into a full stage musical. Oh. Um, they're calling it, very creatively, the School Idol Musical. <sighs> It'll begin its run in December and feature an all-new story, setting, and characters. Um, two rival school idol groups will star in the musical, with each of their leaders being the daughters of their academy's respective chairpersons, of course. When you're a shark, you're a shark. <laughs> did you, did you um, say baby shark? Do, do, do. No, oh God. no, no, no. <laughs> stop. 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 <laughs> Don't do that, Brent. That's <laughs> Coming. Um, uh, the, the, I, I love this. The, the next mobile game is, to, is called Get Ready. Love Live School Idol Festival 2 Miracle Live. <laughs> um, it will let you play every song in the entire franchise. Oh. So far. Okay. Yeah. And we're we'll doing all four idol groups. That's pretty cool. Damn. Um, hmm. Yeah. Um, the whoops, the One Piece film Red is still continuing its domination of the Japanese movie charts, having sold 11 million tickets since its August opening and maintained eight weeks at number one. Damn. All hail Luffy. As of last weekend, it has officially surpassed Ponyo to become the sixth highest earning anime film of all time. Now, is it is it crawling up the charts towards Mugen Train? Yeah, uh, and the 11th highest film in general. Time will tell whether it continues long enough to surpass the biggest Ghibli films, and of course, Mugen Train, especially as it prepares for its overseas theater run later this fall. Oh boy! Oh, mm -hmm. And in, in fairness, that is when Mugen Train picked up steam. Oh, steam. Apologies, yeah. but you know that, that was where it kind of rocking it off. <laughs> picked up steam. Ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of upcoming overseas theater runs, G Kids and Fathom Events will be screening Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.01 Thrice Upon a Time in U.S. theaters December 6th, 8th, and 11th. That would be an experience. Yeah. Yes, that would be. Yeah. Um, it'll screen um, only subbed. Tickets will go on sale on November 2nd. But this isn't all the good news for Evangelion fans this week. As of the 23rd, Milan Records has released two albums featuring iconic music from the series. Marking the oh, first time cool. both albums are available outside Japan. Nice. nice. It is called it is 50 tracks, 5-0. It's titled Evangelion Infinity. Which <laughs> is accurate. Um, and filled with pretty much every version of EM20, the battle theme, um, including the versions heard across the franchise and new reimaginings in a range of styles from acapella to chiptune. The mm. Evangelion Vox album features 20 hip hip hop and RB remakes of Eva's music. With many different artists putting their own spin on some of the series made in between. So fly me to the moon. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. 50 tracks, over seven Track. hours of music. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get enough. I mean, that's pretty much what they're all saying. I, I'd um, end up sitting by myself in a room clapping. 
<laughs> you okay in there? Mm, mm, fine, fine. Don't talk I've seen you. Evangelion. Things will never be okay. Yeah. Nothing will ever taste the same. <laughs> Orange goo everywhere. Um, no! <laughs> Uh, Weekly Shonen Jump revealed last week that the 37th compiled book volume of Hunter x Hunter was published in Japan on November 4th, ending a four-year publishing break. Wow. Yeah. Um, the manga currently has 10 chapters that have not yet been published in a compiled volume, so it seems safe to assume those will be in this volume 37. Um, they were serialized in Weekly Shonen Jump from September to November of 2018. Um, Togashi did tease back in May he's working on 10 new chapters, however, so hopefully those will be released soon as well. So they're kind of trying to get back on that uh, that wagon again, apparently. Four years. Wow, that's quite a break. Yeah, yeah definitely. The currently airing Watcha Primagi anime confirmed the series will end with his next episode on October 9th, ending almost 12 years of continuous broadcast. Um, this is the pretty series, Prepara, Prechan, Primagi, all those. Wow. Uh, the, 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 the pretty rhythm, the original pretty rhythm anime. Um, the overall Pretty Series franchise had an anime series broadcasting on TV without interruption for 11 and a half years, beginning with Pretty Rhythm in 2011. Um, the, the franchise may be temporarily halting its TV anime production. The accompanying arcade game is launching in November. Wow. Well, I'm sorry, a new project in November, a new arcade game. And the franchise is taking this time to prepare for its next launch. So, plenty more to come from the Pretty franchise, I'm sure. And finally, after more than 20 years as one of the biggest franchises of all time, Naruto finally has a website. <laughs> what? That's right. Tomorrow is the opening day of the brand new NarutoOfficial.com. Uh, wow. I didn't even know. No, I didn't. I yeah. thought that there would, there would be. A, there would yeah, I would have thought yeah. early on that would have been like locked up. Like There's no official Naruto website. Oh, well, you know, that kind of makes sense because everybody out there is just like <laughs> Naruto. I'm right. It's just out there. Wow. It's just, oh my God. Um, and they're all going to their host... e commerce site for the warehouse full of headbands and t shirts <laughs> yeah. and ramen bowls and stuff. Um, Jesus. Uh, yeah, it's I'm probably sure be filled it. with nothing but Naruto and Lincoln Park AMVs. Right. Yes. Re required by law. Um, I'm sure they'll have a very nice uh, BBS forum on there. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna crash! His first wow. day, all the air and people are gonna like. Ah. I, I I just know for some reason my head canon is they built a website 20 years ago and never launched it. <laughs> so now they're launching this. You know, <laughs> they found it in a file folder. Like, where's this clean? Do some do some defrag on this. What the hell's this thing? Oh my gosh, it's the website. <laughs> See us on Yahoo! Can you imagine that? Yeah. Can, can you oh, look at the MySpace link. <laughs> wow. Can you just imagine somebody just like going, Hey, Fred, I thought you, 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 you put this up. I thought I did, but you didn't hit the button. I didn't hit the button. You didn't hit the button. <laughs> no, it Perhaps, goes in the draft, and then you have to publish it. Right. So you have the two steps. You have to do the second step. I, I know. Oh, God. But that's not all. That's not all. Oh, dear. They launched the official Japanese and English Twitter accounts last week. What is going on with the Naruto group? <laughs> oh, God. They began their posts on September 21st, which was the 23rd anniversary of the manga's debut. I guess, you know, if you're on the top, like, it doesn't matter. Like, everyone's buying you anyway. Yeah. Like, we don't need any more promotion. Just, oh. just the concept of it. It's like, did you at least have a place called placeholder somewhere on the <laughs> internet just so that you, when you got around to it, that you had the domain? I mean, what the hell's wrong with you? Uh, I mean, what was the decision making behind not doing it at the very beginning? Yeah. Like, like yeah. now I can understand why you would be like, yeah, whatever. Everybody really knows matter. that's where so, people right. have to do that. But at the very beginning, you would think, Oh, we need to get our name out there. We need to have a website. We should get the blah, 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 blah. Actually, John in chat, I think, has it exactly right. I think the publisher has now finally decided that the internet is probably here to stay. <laughs> you know? Like, we should get started on the internet strategy now. Like, we've had enough time to watch and observe. We feel comfortable that it has some longevity in this, in this <laughs> forum. So, 
<laughs> we thought it was going to fail for the first 10 years. Or oh, it was going to be pretty good. God. Anyway. I mean, given what I've heard of like Katakawa and, and the other publishers, it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, Quick, somebody get on the fax troller. <laughs> <laughs> They've, they've invented this thing called the Wired. The what? I have news from the from the, the publisher. Yeah. <laughs> the big broadsheet. They're like just gluing up to the side of Kanakawa. Oh, let's read the read the latest news. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? <laughs> oh dear. Um, oh my. Yes, that's that's all the news for this week. 